everybody it's mama one here again i am here with my 13th build i've titled modern modern quartz wood um had you know short titles whatever anyway um that's what i'm showing you today this one was kind of fun to do this one was something that i had seen um online and i'm using project ozone 3 mod pack uh, version 112.2. I just like the different options that I have for blocks and creativity and uniqueness. So that's what I have gone with. Um, if you're in a different mod pack, obviously you can use, excuse me, whatever you have available to you. Um, you don't have to use the same blocks or anything, but I do like these ones. I, th I think it looks good. Um, we'll start with the patio here. And we have smooth brownstone stairs. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then going towards the house is counting the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that'll give you your base there. And then for the patio itself, I use the brownstone paver. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, six, all the way back to make it a full thing. From the very end, from the very back end by the door, you're gonna go three over and back one. To go one, two, three, four, five. That gives you a one, um, one opening for a doorway. Then I used pillar quartz blocks for my pillars. One, two, three, four high. And that is, sorry, the second paver in from the left stairs goes up and then if you go back one two three four and go over one you'll do one two three four of the pillar quartz blocks again I put the elder sea lantern down in the middle just for um, mobs n lack of no because I don't want mobs to spawn and then from behind the pillar two back third block I put a pair of or a set of quartz stairs and I did the same thing on the other side and then I have one two quartz blocks I believe three total quartz blocks there's one behind the stairs and then two above it on both sides and then above it Keeping in line with the bottom stair, I did an inverted quartz stair up above it. Just aesthetics. Okay, so there's that. Then you build your doorway, and I used clear glass, which is three high, three over, and three down. That leaves an opening for your door. And then around, or on the left side of the glass, I've got the brown stained planks, which is one, two, three, four high on either side. And then attached to that top one, I did the inverted stairs, court stairs, three across. So that's the doorway entryway area with the patio. If you go where these blocks of quartz are with your stairs, right next to those, you're going to do the brown stain planks again with one, two, three, four high. You're going to leave an opening of three and do another four high of the brown stained planks. Then for your left corner of the house, there's a block of quartz behind this. So there's one, two, three, four, five, which is your upstairs floor, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, will be the floor of your second story, or your second floor. So one, two, three, four. On the fifth one, you're gonna go over. And you'll go over, that one's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's one back there, seven. 
Attached to the seventh one, you're going to come back out towards the front. One, two, three, four. And then I did an inverted stair at the end of that. Above it, a block. At the end, the inverted stair. Up a block with the inverted stair. Up a block with an inverted stair. Up a block with an inverted stair. And then up a block with an inverted stair. So there you've got one, two, three, four, five, a total of six inverted stairs coming off that pillar. From this top inverted stair, you're going to have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, including the one that's back there. And then you're going to fill in this whole this whole area that you just did with the white quartz. You're going to fill it all in with the brown stained planks. Following the same thing as you did down here for the window, you're going to do the exact same thing up here. So you're going to have one, two, three, four of the brown stained planks high, an opening of three wide, four um, up and down and then your stained planks again, okay? Now the right side is gonna be the exact same thing. There's no difference except it's on the other side. I tried to do a lot of my builds um, where they're kind of uniformed on left and right so it's easier for me to build, but you know, sometimes I get crazy and stupid and I end up doing something crazy and stupid and it looks weird, but it's actually pretty cool. So anyway, back to our build. Um, then for the porch roof, you've done this here and you did your inverted stairs on both sides. You're going to connect from pillar to pillar, which is you're going to connect the blocks, not the stairs. One, two, three, four, five. And then what I did was I used light blue stained glass attached to the quartz block behind each of the inverted stairs. I just did that all the way across, connecting the whole thing. And then on the last one, cause that's a stair. So on the last one, instead of doing the clear glass, I did a block of quartz connecting it all the way over to the next stair. And then I did quartz slabs attached to the top inverted stair all the way across to connect to the other inverted stair on the other side. And then of course, this will match everything that's on the left side. Now on the top, I guess this is the patio. Um, above these, above this quartz here, I did black or light blue stained glass panes all the way around. And I filled in the patio um, coming in one. So behind the inverted stairs here, or the slab, I'm sorry. These are the quartz blocks that you put down here. Okay. So then you're just going to continue those quartz blocks all the way around and over. And then fill it in with the brown stained wood slab. So this last block here is going to match up to the wall here, okay? So that's that part of the outside. This part of the outside is the same, just carry it over and all the way around. You've done that on both sides. For this part here, I just added an additional three, four up. From this fourth one connected to it, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Block of quartz. And you're going to go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then take it all the way back down and fill it in with the block of quartz. I'm trying not to get too far ahead of myself because I know what I did here, but I want to make sure that y'all understand it too. 
Um, so that's that. So at this point, we're, we're only to here. We haven't built any of this stuff back here behind it. It's just the front stuff. So we'll get to the roof here in a second. So we were working on the left side. So from this corner on the left, remember there's a pillar, or I'm sorry, a quartz block underneath here. So attached to that bottom quartz block, you're going to put your brown stain planks and go one, two, three, four high. Leave an opening of five. And then do another five stained planks. And go up for now just to five blocks of quartz. You're going to connect this top block all the way to this block here. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five. Go all the way across to connect to this pillar. So left side of the house, fifth block up. Right above it, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Bring that over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And come down one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to have one, two, three, four of the stained planks. And then another four for the stained planks. That leaves you a five wide window. So that's this, this area here. Above these top quartz blocks, I did light blue stained glass. This is already built, so that's where you're going to carry it out on top of that and all the way over. And you're going to match this end to this end. So you'll do the exact same thing. If we follow it around, this here, this window area, and this window area are going to match identically to what is on the left side of the front of the house. Not, it's not going to change. It's going to be identical. And then I filled in this little patio area with the block of quartz. Again, I used the Elder Sea Lantern um, to prevent mob spawning. So that's that part. We come back down here. This part is almost the same as the front. Uh, the dimensions are pretty much the same, but I'm going to go over them anyway just because they are a little bit different. Um, what doesn't change for sure is the doorway. You're going to do the doorway the exact same way you did in the front. And you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wide. And one, two, three, four, five, what, one, two, three, four, five, six in with the five additional here in front of the doorway. Now I did something a little different. You've got your four pillar block, quartz blocks, excuse me. I surrounded it with quartz stairs all the way around, so it's going to be three by three on both sides. Now that's a little bit different. And then for the patio part up top, on top of the inverted stair, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, and then came over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back six towards the house and then did the light blue stained glass panes all the way around the top end, filling it in with the block of quartz. Everything else is the same. Continuing these blocks of quartz here, you have behind the stair, you have this behind here, then you have one, two, three, an additional four on either side of the door. The other side is a window, as you, or that big window there like you can see, okay? So you're gonna have four of the quartz blocks, and then you're gonna do like an upside down U or an N, whatever, 
one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four down. And then I filled in my horseshoe. That's the word. One, two, three, three, and three of the clear glass for my doorway. These back windows here are identical to the front windows here, these two. Exact same thing, nothing's changed. And then building off of this little, sorry, building off of the little patio area to, I'm sorry, my maneuvering is horrible. On to, to the left of the front door, the top patio area, we filled that in. Building off of that is three out, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across, and three back down. Filling it in with the block of quartz and putting the blue, light blue stained glass panes around the edge. The doorway is gonna be the exact same as we've been doing. Uh, one, two, three, four, four quarts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then another four, three of the stained planks on either side, and then the clear glass going three, three, three gives you your doorway. This patio area is the same as this patio area, nothing really different. Um, being on the left side of the house here on the patio you go one two three four quarts and on the left side is four quarts and then you connect that quartz to this one all the way three stained planks right next to this with the one block opening for your window Another horseshoe of 333 of the stained planks, an opening, and three planks again. The right side, or the left side, excuse me, is going to match the right side identically. So now you've got all your quartz coming all the way over and around and down. I just topped it off. I jetted out one block and I placed brown stained wood slab all the way around so that you have a little bit of a lip hanging out and finished, filled in the rest of the roof with the same. I don't think I did anything different oh, with the stairs. I'll show you the stairs. We go in. I know I've mentioned this before, but I use, I like using the pressure plate for the door because when you walk in, the door closes automatically behind you. You don't have to worry about mobs following you in. Um, but there are really no walls inside. Um, of course, when you build it, if you wanna add walls to kind of partition off the rooms, um, you can, if you want to use something other than glass, you wanna use a block or you, you wanna use fences because you wanna still wanna see outside, but you don't wanna have mobs come in. You can do that too. Make it your own. It doesn't have to be the same, obviously. Um, it's just, you know, I do these for me, but I also, if I can help somebody come up with something creative for their Minecraft world, then wonderful. Um, so when you come in through the front door, you're going to go to your right, one, two, three, which is going to line up with the stained planks. And then you're going to place your first stair, one, two, three, four, five, on the sixth one. So if you come in the back door, I guess that would have been an easier way to explain it. But you come in through the back door, you're going to go left two blocks and forward one block. That's where your first stair is going to go. And you go one, two, three, four, five. One, two. I get confused. Hold on. There's one, two, three, four. Yeah, five stairs to meet the floor here. And the stair is on the second block from the wall downstairs. So on the second block from the wall downstairs, you're gonna put your light blue stained glass and then open 
the rest of it so that you don't hit your head. Um, and then I just did the stained glass around it so that, you know, I wouldn't just fall into the staircase because that would not really be good. Um, underneath the stairs, just so that they don't look so weird, I did inverted stairs. It gives a nice aesthetic. If you want to section off your rooms, you can do the quartz blocks all the way. So it just blocks off the whole area. Um, that is an option. And again, no walls up here either. And this is open, which is kind of nice because then you can see outside, you get a view. Um, again, if you want to do solid blocks, you can, and then you can just put like chests or whatever up there you want. And then, oh, I didn't put a pressure plate there. Look at me. That was silly. Okay. So that's your second story. Hello. I cannot maneuver. I got a new mouse, and I'm still learning how to use it. Um, okay, so outside what I did um, for decorative reasons I have done this before. I've seen it in other videos where they use the anvil and leaves on top. I use silver bell leaves. One thing with Project Ozone 3, I don't know if it's all mod packs, but um, if you break one bush, any of the other bushes attached or leaves attached to it will also break. I do not believe that happens with the vanilla ones, but it does happen with the modded ones. Um, but I just had one of those on either side. And then I did a rose bush and some blue orchids. Did some more bushes around the corners, bottom corners here. Orchids, roses, potted plant or potted tree. And then I just did orchids out here. Oh, just to make it look a little pretty, a little different. Um, how do I get to the top floor? <laughs> what did I forget to do? Okay, I'm a numb nut. Um, I couldn't figure out how I got myself to the third floor. Anyway, so at the top of the stairs, I have... Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. It blends in so well. That's a rope ladder. It blends in so well. Um, so at the top of the stairs, you have one block. And you go over, starting with that one. One, two, three, four, five to the right. And then you're going to put your rope ladder on the stained planks. So looking out of this window, it's on the right. I'm such a dummy. I thought there was a third floor, but I didn't want to say anything. Um, so up here, you have four doors going out to your four different patios. You don't have to have doors. You don't have to have pressure plates. Um, you can have this all be open if you want. But... Anyway, you have your four doors to go the four different directions um, into whichever patio you want to go to. The, door, the doors over here on the brown stained planks and the baobab doors blend so well. I almost didn't know they were there. And that's it. That's the build. Um, I know this one is a little bit longer, a little bit more complicated, but really it's not that complicated. It's easy. It's just a little complicated to explain on my end. Um, but again, if you have any constructive criticism, be nice. But any constructive criticism, suggestions, comments, questions, leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I know that my video quality, the sound quality, I'm working on that. I don't know what the deal is. I'm trying to figure it out as I go. Right now, I've got my microphone set up all rigged up. Um, so hopefully, I'll figure it out soon. But I promise I'm working on it. In the meantime, enjoy my builds. I've got plenty more coming, and I've got a handful there before. Um, and if you see anything that was your build, you know, go ahead and let me know. Um, I want to give credit where credit is due. I don't take credit for everything, but I also don't remember where I got everything either. So just leave a comment. You like the video, hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.